What should we do about the migrant crisis? Should we actually do anything or should we adopt the Rishi Sunak approach with a never-ending production line of tough-talking announcements and absolutely no action? Perhaps we could go for the Boris Johnson solution, shrug our shoulders and think to ourselves that since we live in fashionable London, thousands of foreigners pouring across the English Channel illegally week after lethal week aren't worth worrying about. By my estimation, it has taken this sorely out-of-touch government three floundering years to realise that unless they put the brakes on this ongoing invasion, they will lose the next election. Ooh, horror of horrors, I use the word invasion. That's because after nearly 50,000 aliens invaded our shores in a year of crossing dangerously, it's the right word. Don't let them tell you what you can and cannot say. That's how they seek to control you. Just say no. No, but never mind all the other reasons the Tories are on course for an historic defeat, the migrant crisis alone will be their downfall. Now that this glaringly obvious truth has finally dawned on him, our dear billionaire leader this week declared enough is enough and brought in alleged hard-hitting new laws to stop the rot. From now on, stormed Rishi impressively, not a single migrant who arrives on British beaches illegally will be allowed to stay. Sounds good, eh? But how does the Prime Minister define that a migrant is illegal? Does he fall in with the chattering class's insistence that if, having pitched up on our shores in deadly dinghies without passports or documents, they claim political asylum, they are legal? until their application has been processed in about a decade, usually, because that's not going to stop a damn thing. Not so much a deterrent, more an encouragement to anyone who fancies living in the United Kingdom. Even though, with a rocketing population of 70 million and rising, this packed-out country is officially full up. Our infrastructure is creaking at the seams. We simply cannot take more and more Albanians. In fact, we can't take any more migrants from from nations where there is neither war nor torture. It should be no war, no torture, no new life in Britain. But it ain't, because a management speak globalist at heart, Rishi, has decided in his infinite lack of wisdom that we do not need to leave the European Convention on Human Rights, which means that any time we want to, I don't know, say, fly a few illegal migrants to Rwanda, the European Court of Human Rights will sit in judgment and rule that the plane stays on the ground. As long as we cede sovereignty to Europe, the migrants crisis will continue apace. I hope Rishi has got it right and that somehow his optimistic fudge succeeds. I hope he does something to empty the 440 hotels currently fully booked with hungry, unemployed, mostly male migrants who British taxpayers are feeding, accommodating and giving 45 quid a week to. But if the UK does not leave the European Convention on Human Rights, we are not masters of our own destiny. We do what we are told and Home Secretary Suella Bravman will carry on her vital role as the nation's hotel finder in chief. Good luck with the latest of your many tough talking migrant crisis announcements, Rishi. God knows you're going to need it. <laughs>